matter where I go, people ask me, when are you going to do another Terminator? It is time. They really blew me away. It's a Terminator movie. It's so exciting. Run! We are using the most edge-of-the-art visual effects technology that exists. Wow, I'm a Terminator in a Terminator movie. <laughs> be back. Terminator is is like the, the perfect role for me. Yes, John Connor. I know what I need to do in order to make the Terminator character shine. The worldwide audience embrace this character. They just they just love the Terminator. Get down! Arnold as a Terminator one, he actually was a real bad guy. Terminator 2, he is a protector. He comes to protect John Connor. You here to kill me? No. You must live. Terminator comes back in order to stop a uh, female Terminator who uh, has been also sent back to help with the rise of the machines. The X is faster, more powerful, and more intelligent. The far more effective killing machine. Oh, great. She's deadly, she's dangerous, and you have no idea what she's capable of doing next. TX is here to make sure that what's supposed to happen in the future does happen. John, what is he saying? Judgment Day. The end of the world. It's today, three hours from now. Two hours and 53 minutes. Get out of here! Now! The only way that the rise of the machines in the future can continue the way the machines have planned it is by eliminating John Connor. It's ten years later and he's grown up. He feels like he stopped Judgment Day, but at the same time, something in the back of his head is telling him not to drop his guard. I should feel safe. I don't. Here's a character who's never really had a father. The only father figure he's ever even experienced in his life is a robot. Hey, do you even remember me? Blowing up Cyberdyne? Hasta la vista, baby? That was a different T-101. What, do you guys come off an assembly line or something? Exactly. She finds John Connor in her veterinary clinic. She assumes that he is some vagabond, and Let soon after go. that, she's kidnapped. Let me go. Let me go. To have a character who's an outsider to the whole thing, who's experiencing it for the first time, really gives the audience that necessary perspective. Tell her who I am. John Connor is leader of the worldwide resistance and last best hope of humankind. And go to hell. It's like I'm penetrating the screen, you know, this story that I've been raised with is suddenly now a real part of my life. I swear I will, I'll shoot you! Go ahead, see what happens. My is to help them to get through this and to get them to safety. We need a new vehicle. I don't know if I will be able to be starstruck ever again, you know, because this doesn't get any bigger than Arnold Schwarzenegger. It really doesn't. Good take. I love it. No sign of brain trauma. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. There's something about, I think, the character of the Terminator that gives you the license to break the tension of really suspenseful scenes with something really comedic, and yet you go back into the suspense. 
Mile Drive. He's a guy who really focused on his work, but at the same time likes to have fun. Are you talking to me? He definitely has a good sense of humor. <laughs> All right, so now we're the series. <laughs> John Connor was here. Where did he go? The great thing about TX is that, unlike the past Terminators, she's a female, so she can use her femininity and certain attributes um, to achieve her goals. Lady, have you any idea how fast you were going? I like your gun. It's really wild to see a villain that looks that good. Kristana has done a wonderful job. She has a a fascinating look and feel about her that just makes her out of this world. Totally straight, without showing any effort, which was key to the character. I like getting right in there and doing whatever it takes to make it look as, as great as it possibly can. I've been a huge fan of both movies from the time I was young, I was chomping at the bit to get a piece of it. Nick Stone's perfect for that character. I think that he did an incredible job. Wang. Very nice. Okay. It's difficult to find somebody who is 22, 23 years old, and yet feels like, in some sense, they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. There's enough C4 here to take out 10 supercomputers. We're gonna make it, Kate. I always feel safe when he's on screen with me. What? Nothing. Just, you remind me of my mother. I was so happy to play someone who's as resourceful and self-reliant and clever as she is. Let's go, John! Claire Danes was a feisty girl. <laughs> and terrific actress. So it was really fun working with her because it's very tough, especially for women that come in from movies that have never had any physical contact. And then they come in and all of a sudden they do the stunts and do all of those kind of crazy stuff. Relax. It took me about a month to finally sort of accept and believe that I was making an action movie. And action. It was very important when we chose a new director to find somebody that feels comfortable doing visual effects, comfortable with the big stunts and setting up huge scenes with a movie that is of epic proportions. And cut, perfect, great. He wants to stay true to the tone of the other films, but at the same time he's making his own movie. They just focused on telling a story that I, as a moviegoer and as a fan of the Terminator franchise, would want to see. Jonathan's created a really wonderful atmosphere on the set. It's surprisingly calm and relaxed. That's pretty much the reaction, I would say, of every person that runs across the Terminator when they see him. He's not one to, to mess with. I think we better go. I think people are fascinated and love robots and love machines and love the whole technology of what we are able to create. We built robots. In Terminator 1, we pretended. In Terminator 2, we went a little further. In Terminator 3, we're building robots. You get a little bit uh, of the history of how all the Terminators have been created. What was the first model, which we've never really seen in any of the movies, the T1. I spent months working in the designs of these T1 robots. No matter how deeply involved you get with the details, when you see it all put together for the first time, it's incredible. Those are really impressive. They're huge and they're very heavy. 
There is no digital T1. Everything you see is a completely performing robot. What makes Stan Winston win all those Academy Awards for best effect makeup and special effects and all those kind of things is because he's a genius. Hello, Arnold. <laughs> he has this, this, this mad vision. You got more skin than I did. <laughs> Stan Winston and his studio has created a Terminator that uh, looks exactly like me. That did uh, several of the scenes, especially when it has to do with fire and explosions and stuff like that. It was, I have never seen anything like this. Great abs. Each stunt to me is always an exciting new adventure. Arnold got into incredible physical shape for this movie. That's not special effects, that's just old-fashioned working out. I kept seeing him in my workouts and just going, okay, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> it's all just been one sort of endless stream of running and panting and kicking and <laughs> screaming for help. Three. These actors, every night they got home and they, I know they just collapsed into bed. It takes, you know, quite a lot of endurance. Two. I will remember the weeks that I spent hanging on a hook of a huge monster crane. It was really close calls many times. One. Totally surreal. Totally. It's a different world of movie making altogether. It's amazing. It was a lot of fun. Everyone understands the fear of machines taking no. over. Machines are being smarter than human beings. This can't be happening. The rise of the machines. Yeah.